Saudi Arabia celebrated Halloween in Riyadh which was once banned in the country. You can see people have come with costumes on the road, people are enjoying, people are celebrating it, people are trying to look scary and they have dressed up in many different ways like the western Halloween parties. Growing up in Saudi Arabia, the two 21 year old men had never celebrated Halloween which was variously viewed as a suspiciously pagan foreign holiday or as sinful, unnecessary and weird in the conservative Islamic kingdom. As recently as 2018, the police raided a Halloween party and arrested people sending costumed women clamoring to cover up and escape. But this year, parts of Riyadh, the Saudi capital looked like creatures from a haunted house had escaped and taken over the city. Monsters, witches, bank robbers and even sultry French maids were everywhere leaning out of car windows and lounging in cafes. The scene was a stark and a slightly spine chilling sign of the changes that have torn through Saudi Arabia since Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman now here to the throne and Prime Minister began rising to power in 2015 and started doing away with social restrictions one by one. Subhanallah. My brothers and sisters, you can say the end is really near because even the one of the main places for the Muslim worshippers who visit Mecca and Medina because it is the place of pilgrimage for the Muslims which was once considered a religious country now they are following the West's like never before. Rasulullah said, Abu Sayyid al Khudri reported, Allah's Messenger is saying, You tread the same path as was trodden by those before you, inch by inch and step by step, so much so that if they had entered into the hole of the lizard, you would follow them in this also. We said, Allah's Messenger, do you mean Jews and Christians by your words, those before you? He said, who else than those two religious groups? It's a hadith in Sahih Muslim. My brothers and sisters, do istighfar, make a lot of tawbah and do sincere repentance to Allah because even in Saudi Arabia, even in the place of Mecca and Medina, even in that sacred country where lies Mecca and Medina, where lies the Baytullah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in that country all this fahisha is going on. So the end might be near. May Allah protect all of us. May Allah forgive our sins and may Allah guide us to the right path.